Given a block diagram, which is composed of many smaller blocks, you often need to combine those blocks into one larger block diagram so that you can extract the corresponding differential equation. We're going to look at two methods of combining blocks in a block diagram. One is block diagram algebra, the other is using brute force. This video, we're going to be looking at the brute force method. The brute force method procedure is this. First, write variable names at all the input and outputs of the blocks. So if you have a block, input and output, you need to write a variable name on the inputs and on the outputs. The second step is to write an equation relating all the inputs and outputs. This is essentially writing output is equal to g of s times input. The third step, do the algebra. This is brute force. Let's look at an example. Here's an example which contains three blocks, two integrators, and one constant. The constant is in a feedback loop. So our procedure is to first write variable names at all the inputs and outputs. We're going to call this u. Output here, I'll call x1. Input here, I'll call u2. Output, we already have a name for it, x. This input is the same as the output x, and this I'll call x3. Second step, write the input-output relation equations. For the first block, I have that x1 is equal to 1 over s times u. For the second integrator, I have x is equal to 1 over s u2. For the constant block, I have the output x3 is equal to 3 times x. And finally, for the summation block, I have the output u2 is equal to x1 minus x3. That's step two. The final step, the brute force part, is to do the algebra. I'm going to do some substitutions. x is equal to 1 over s u2, but u2 is x1 minus x3. I also have that x3 is equal to 3 times x, and I have that x1 is equal to 1 over s u. I've now eliminated all of the variables except for the input u and the output x, which I want, so now I need to combine terms. And with a little quick algebra, we have the final relationship. Transfer function is 1 over s squared plus 3s. Remember, the numerator gives us the zeros of the system. The denominator gives us the poles of the system. In this case, the poles of the system are found by setting s squared plus 3s is equal to 0. So we have s times s plus 3 equals 0. And the poles of the system are s is equal to 0 or s is equal to minus 3. This method is the brute force method. The brute force method always works. It may take time to get to the answer, but it's your backup plan, and you can use it whenever you get stuck.